Let's delve into the spine-chilling narratives of Iraq as we discover seven petrifying scientific and archaeological discoveries that have left researchers and historians baffled for years. These discoveries have not only left an eternal effect on the academic community, but also continue to arouse an aura of mystery. From ancient endemics to mysterious remains, these frightening discoveries expose subdued truths, bone-chilling implications, and paradoxes that still stun the world. Let's get on with it. Number 1. The Ancient Plague Pit in 2014, archaeologists who were digging in the historic city of Ur, located in modern-day Iraq, made a surprising discovery. They revealed a mass grave encompassing the remains of over a hundred individuals. The skeletal remains bore indicative signs of a violent and awful demise, leading researchers to conclude that they had stumbled upon an ancient plague pit. The victims had likely fallen prey to an extremely infectious and fatal disease that had spread hastily throughout the city, destroying its population. Upon conducting laboratory analyses of the remains, traces of Yersinia pestis bacterium were found. Commonly known as the plague, this is a bacterial infection that affects both animals and humans. The same microbe that caused the notorious Black Death, which devastated a substantial part of Europe's populace during the 14th century. The discovery of a mass grave in Ur, which was likely a plague pit, poses many intriguing questions. How did the disease arrive in that area, and what factors contributed to its swift spread and high lethalness rate? How can studying ancient plagues like the one in Ur help us prevent future outbreaks of fatal diseases? Number 2. Mass Human Sacrifice Site In 2006, archaeologists made a spine-chilling discovery in the locality of the ancient Mesopotamian city of Nimrud. The dig revealed proof of a mass human sacrifice where over 50 individuals were brutally executed. The arrangement of the remains implied that the sacrifice was carried out as part of a religious or ceremonial event. The victims were most likely prisoners of war, trapped during conflicts between competing city-states. The archaeologists assumed that the human sacrifices were performed to placate the gods and ensure the kingdom's continued success and triumph. This deathly practice was most likely meant to showcase the power and authority of the ruling elite who had absolute control over the lives and deaths of their subjects. It also prompts us to think over the cultural and religious ideologies that consented to such rituals to continue, and we must strive to learn from the past to ensure that such cruelties do not repeat themselves. Number 3. Apocalyptic Prophecies in Cuneiform Tablets The ancient Mesopotamians were notorious for their thorough documentation of everyday life using the cuneiform script on clay tablets. Among the substantial collection of cuneiform tablets discovered in Iraq are some that contain chilling apocalyptic prophecies. These prophecies illustrate calamitous events such as devastating floods, wars, and famines that signaled the end of the world. Despite being thousands of years old, some scholars argue that these doomsday visions still vibrate with modern anxieties and fears. These cuneiform tablets are an unpleasant reminder of humanity's long-standing obsession with the catastrophe. Though the disastrous events described in these ancient texts have yet to occur, their ominous predictions continue to thrill and scare us. Number 4. The Ziggurat of Ur's Dark Secrets The Ziggurat of Ur, a magnificent, steeped pyramid located in modern-day Iraq, was an outstanding religious construction during the apex of the Sumerian civilization. The awe-inspiring structure was built in honor of the moon god Nana, and it operated as a sacred shrine as well as an administrative hub. However, recent archaeological excavations have shed light on some disturbing mysteries hidden within its ancient confines. During the excavations, researchers exposed evidence of horrible human sacrifices and chilling ceremonial practices. 
These discoveries suggest that the Ziggurat of Ur was not only a place of worship and governance, but also a site where terrible and disturbing ceremonies were performed. Mostly, the individuals selected for sacrifice were prisoners of war or slaves who were offered up to the gods as a means of strengthening the ruling class's dominance. In addition, excavations have revealed a network of underground chambers and passageways underneath the ziggurat's surface. These subterranean tunnels contain several human and animal remains as well as a variety of items used in ritualistic practices. The passages were clearly used for secretive ceremonies that were kept hidden from the general public. Perhaps one of the most alarming revelations exposed at the Ziggurat of Ur were the several clay figurines portraying ethereal beings. These frightening statuettes have been discovered throughout the entire structure, hinting at their vital involvement in the religious customs and beliefs of the ancient Sumerians. What chilling secrets lie buried within the peculiar ziggurat and what do they reveal about the sinister underbelly of early Sumerian society? Number 5. Eerie Deserted Cities Iraq boasts numerous ancient cities that once served as centers of cultural, economic, and religious activity. Yet, mysteriously, many of these cities were ultimately abandoned, leaving behind deserted ghost towns that continue to arouse a sense of anxiety in the present day. Among these sites is Hatra, a once remarkable fortress city of the Parthian Empire. Its gigantic walls and other defensive structures once protected it from several sieges. However, for reasons that remain a thriller, the city was eventually abandoned in the 3rd century AD. Theories abound regarding the cause, with political mayhem, economic decline, and foreign invasion all among the possibilities. Today, Hatra is a grim and sinister reminder of the death of human civilization. Its empty streets and deteriorating ruins stand as a stark testament to the momentary nature of power and the relentless march of time. The search for answers regarding the perplexing abandonment of these ancient cities continues, as archaeologists strive to undo the thrillers of their prosperity and eventual downfall. Through their excavations and investigations, they aim to gain vision into the complex dynamics that govern the emergence, success, and ultimate breakdown of civilizations across the ages. Number 6. Weaponized Microbes from Babylon The ancient metropolis of Babylon, situated in present-day Iraq, once stood as a beacon of control and progress. However, recent archaeological inquiries have uncovered a spine-chilling possibility that the Babylonians might have seized the ability to weaponize microbes. Scientists have found clay vessels and cuneiform tablets that reveal obvious instructions on how to cultivate and use fatal microorganisms in battle. These deadly bioweapons could have been utilized to contaminate water supplies of enemies or spread diseases amongst opposing armies, resulting in disastrous illness and death. The use of these types of weapons in ancient warfare triggers a heap of ethical and moral concerns. The Babylonians' readiness to employ such destructive and indiscriminate strategies exposes the sinister side of human innovation and the great lengths to which individuals will go in the quest for power and dominance. The discovery of these ancient bioweapons serves as a cautionary example for modern times, highlighting the potential dangers of unbridled technological progress and the compulsion of ethical considerations in scientific research and development. What else do you think we have not discovered? Number 7. Mysterious Radioactive Remnants in the past few years, a number of scientists and archaeologists conducting research in Iraq have stumbled upon puzzling radioactive traces in different sites, which have urged many questions about their origins and implications. These radioactive isotopes have been detected in ancient ruins, soil samples, and even in human remains, intriguing the interest and concerns of researchers. There are several theories about the presence of these radioactive materials in Iraq, one of which suggests that the ancient people used uranium and thorium, 
which are naturally occurring radioactive elements, to produce pigments, glazes, and other materials, which could have inadvertently led to their distribution into the environment. Another possibility is that the radioactive isotopes were purposely used for various purposes, including medical treatments or even as a form of early warfare. Additionally, naturally occurring radon gas which develops from the decay of uranium and thorium in the Earth's crust could be an explanation for the presence of radioactive remnants in Iraq. Radon gas can gather in confined spaces such as underground tombs and sealed chambers, causing heightened levels of radioactivity over time. These findings have substantial implications for our understanding of the ancient world and the ways in which early civilizations interacted with and harnessed natural elements, as well as for our current understanding of environmental health and safety. The disclosure of radioactive materials in Iraq's archaeological sites and their potential impact on the health of both locals and researchers is a substantial cause for worry. Extreme exposure to radiation can result in a variety of health complications, and the presence of these mysterious radioactive remnants in Iraq serves as a touching reminder of the enduring influence of history on modern times, often in ways that are complicated and unexpected. The discovery of these isotopes in ancient artifacts prompts investigations into the technological aptitudes of past civilizations and the accidental outcome that their pursuits may have created. As we further examine these puzzling revelations, we gain an immersed appreciation for the elaborate chronicles of human originality and their persistent influence on our planet. Is it possible that ancient civilizations acquired advanced technologies that have been lost over time? And could these discoveries be evidence of an unseen history of human innovation? Thanks for watching.